The Centon 3S is about to get a huge hobby wing upgrade. I have the 140 amp Max 10 G2 system with a 2400 kV motor. This is like the 550 size motor right here. 2400 kV for this because my track is so sandy. Yeah, gotta kind of compensate for a little bit on that, right? But we're gonna get this put into the Centon and take it for a drive. Let's get to that table. I got a lot to show you. Let's go. The stock 3200 kV motor on the left and the new Hobby Wing 2400 kV on the right. Is it going to be a little bit slower? Yes, but you know what? On 3S, you can rarely, really throttle this thing up. Plus, I got room for more pinion gear if I need it. 2400 should carry it really darn good, and the system is good to 4S versus the 3S. Now, this fan assembly, I want to try to use that on the new motor just because it's a big, sandy, high drag track. The ESC I've been using, I showed you guys in a previous video. This is the 4S Spectrum ESC. It did help on the cogging a little bit, but as I drove it, yeah, you know, it kind of went back to the normal. There will be no cogging on the hobby wing system right here. It's got that new G2. Look at that sensor right there. This thing is going to be nice. The heat sink and fan assembly is on. It was a very tight fit, but there it is, guys. And here we go. Everything is in. The fan, everything is wired up. We are ready to go. And I'm actually running some of the EC5s. I got these with that Rift I bought a little while back. Three of them batteries. So I'm like, you know what? Let's put them to use, right? This way I fanned up with some smart technology, something I can actually, you know, have you guys see the readouts. But anyways, we are ready to go. And also add a little bit of a dam right there to kind of keep the sand out if I'm following somebody, which happens every now and then but anyway this thing is ready to go let's go see what it's got there we go no cog at all of course right i mean yeah of course oh i got a lot of juice here i was kind of worried about maybe it's going to be a little bit slower you know 2400 kv versus about 3000 kv but I think I'm gonna be just fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like it. Now the track had a pretty rough day yesterday. Uh, yeah, open park and my goodness, the track got wrecked. But looks like we're gonna be all right. Oh man, I, I, I was legit a little bit worried about the uh, overall speed. Okay, this is not a DBXLE. I can relax. <laughs> nice, nice. Whoa! Totally cleared the triple. Beautiful. Now, I got to say, I didn't realize the cog was like what it was, but this thing is super smooth. Nice. Nice. Throttle control feels great. Look at that. I got to get over to the side so I can show you guys that a little bit better. It went a little nose down, but uh, throttled right out of it. Look at that. Beautiful landing. Almost seems like when I'm flat landing it like that, like I could possibly thicken up the shock wheel a little bit. Oh no, oh, here's something shaking. Now I've had really good luck out of these tires. Hopefully they're not coming off. If they are, then, well, several of you guys have sent me links to some really nice tires and Maybe it'll be time to give them a shot. Wow, look at this. It hit so hard, I went all the way through to the black dirt. <laughs> Let's go see if I can get some laps. Got some dark clouds in the background here, so I don't have a whole lot of... Ooh, a whole lot of sunlight here. 
Nice. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get. Ugh, doesn't look like I'm gonna get a very fast lap with this thing. I'm happy with the speed, the gearing. Oh, the gearing and everything. Nice. I gotta do a servo on it next. Oh, <laughs> I messed up on that. Man, it's so much smoother coming out of the corners now. Oh, look at that. I pitched it right down perfect for that landing. I guess we get to finally see. Oh, ah, ha, ha. if there's any sand left in it, I may have just knock some of it out. Yeah, I definitely got something shaking on it. Now, in times like that, a little bit more wheel speed would actually be nice, in all honesty. A little more wheel speed allows you to, to control the air, or air control a little bit better. It might just be sand or dirt in the uh, wheels. I'm hitting something on that jump right there that's not very happy on the launch. But yeah, the track took a beating yesterday, man. Nice, got a good little launch across that. I like to at least get one good, one good lap. Woo! <laughs> Come on, little guy. Oh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take this lap right here. All right, let's go ahead and bring this thing back and check the temperatures real quick. All right, on the track here, everything you can see, I uh, still got dirt up in the chassis. These these fenders, guys, I I I, I don't know, man. Uh, motors at 110, 113, that's running good. ESC is about 100. Ambient temps right now are probably about uh, 78 or so. Uh, battery's looking at about 80 degrees, 79, 80 or so. That looks good. I like that heat sink right there, I really do. All right, so we are good to go. Let's take a look and see. I look at all that in my wheel. That's probably what I was hearing. The fronts are all like that too. Oh, well, that's just part of the Florida sand track. That is the Exoplex. Well, there you go. The Hobbing 2400 KV is a lot faster than what I thought it would be. I really expected it to be slower, but heck, the darn thing moved down that track really good. Uh, the biggest issue was my lack of driver ability. The driver mod wasn't really turned on too well. Maybe I think I bumped it a little bit or something. I'm not sure, but regardless, uh, the system ran great. Uh, real happy with that. The 5,000 milliamp batteries, uh, they leave a little bit to be desired, you know? It's rare that I run... Uh, factory battery like spectrum or traxxas or something like that and this might be the reason why but anyways uh guys i hope hopefully you liked the video the system worked out really good now i've got to get the 80 amp system into a crawler and see how it's going to do like the like capra bouncer which we haven't seen in a while right probably not even all year but anyway you guys are going to see it soon check that description there are affiliate links a made ebay amazon and horizon helps out the channel when you guys use it so you know what oh also hobby wing got a 10 percent discount down below too yeah at hobby wing direct so check that description use those links hit that subscribe and ring that bell you guys are awesome catch you later sandy Later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.